Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I hope that uh, if you like what you see here, that you do all the appropriate stuff. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. But uh, what are we doing today? Well, we are at Brush Creek Resort uh, near Athens, West Virginia. And got a call this morning. It's a fairly common call. Uh, people's like, Man, our LP leak detector, they usually don't call it that, but anyhow. Started going off in the middle of the night, went off all night long, scared us to death. We cut the propane off and we called you and and we're freaked out, so come and help. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean <clears throat> I've been here for just a couple minutes. I went in and spoke to the lady and I was like, did it go off like Meh, or did it just go chirp? chirp she said it was chirping so most probably the LP leak detector she said this camper is about four or five years old chances are the leak detectors at the end of its lifespan we're gonna check that for sure um, first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna leak test the propane system make sure that there is not a problem because um, that's the first thing you need to do so uh, let's uh, let's get inside and get the uh, stove top off and we're gonna start leak testing this system and then we'll do other things all right uh, we put the fuse back in the leak detector and we are getting a red blinking light I would imagine I'll get down there and read that but I bet you it says we got we got too old. Red. So it says, where y'all looking? Okay, it says yellow is a replace, red is alarm, and green is on. We're getting a red flashing light, so. So we're going to check this thing for leaks. Top off. Let's just get one of these eyes out of play here, so I can put my meter on here. Just plug it right in there. Turn that eye on. We're 13 water column inches. So that's that's in spec. 11 to 11 to 14. Okay, so let me go cut. Let me go cut the propane off and then we'll start leak testing. So I am I cut the bottles off, both both, both propane bottles. Now I'm gonna bleed bleed pressure off down here to um, about eight water column inches. Got it kind of close, so I cut that eye back off. Now I'll use this little valve to get her down to eight water column inches. About right there. Perfect. Now I'll set my my Timex for uh, three minutes. Now we wait. Tell you what, while we wait, we'll go down here and pull this uh, leak detector off the wall and. Uh, See, it should have a date code on the back of it. Let's see how old it is. So here's our leak detector. Let's get it off the wall. See if it has a date. Which one of y'all brought your reading glasses? July 28th of 2018. So it is just over five years old. So yes, ma'am, it's time to replace it. Okay. 
replace 84 months after resale. So 84 months, that's five years, right? Aha. That's how I did it. Yep. Did y'all hear that chirp? Even though it's supposed to be yellow to tell you that it's it's going bad, it was red, but we got that chirp. Of course, it was laying on its face, too. That laying on its face on the floor. Maybe it didn't like that. I don't know. But yeah. We're going we're going they're either gonna change the sleep detector out or I'm gonna get them on and change it out or something. Weird thing about these is they, they always do that chirp in the middle of the night. They never do it during the day. I think I pushed the button that time. I think I actually pushed the test button. Doing. All righty. Well, my Mickey Mouse timepiece says it's been better than seven minutes, and it has built pressure. It has not lost pressure. So the uh, the propane system is intact, no leaks. So um, let me uh, put her stove back together, and then uh, she said that we're having trouble with the furnace. It was doing some strange things. So. Let's check that out too while we're here. Right. So furnace lit right up, but y'all may y'all may think it's funny when I smell. If y'all can smell that right now, you can smell it right now. You can you can tell that it is not burning correctly at all. So we're gonna have to take this furnace out, take it apart, clean it because it's got some issues. It does not smell good. I've always told y'all, if you ever smell one that's not burning right, you'll know it. Because it's a it's a horrible smell. Nasty. So let's cut that thing off. And uh we're gonna uh it's even coming inside. It was smoking worse than it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not burning good. Yeah, no, it's not burning good at all. So, all right, well, let's get that furnace out of there and see what's up with that. All right, we're gonna get to get to the back side of this furnace. Looks like we're gonna have pretty good access. I'm gonna have pretty good access, but y'all ain't. I just gotta get this furnace out, and uh, then we'll then we'll work on it. But ain't room for y'all and me back in there at the same time. All right, we got the furnace out. We got her out on the table, or we can work on it. We gotta get the silicone out of that screw right there. We probably shook this furnace up enough to where whatever was in that orifice is probably gone. That happens quite often. But hopefully, hopefully we can figure out <clears throat> why it was not burning properly. And I'll tell you what, this one really stunk. Like I say, if y'all, I know y'all probably think it's funny when I smell the exhaust. Man, I can tell a lot about how a furnace is running, or water heater, or fridge. They're kind of hard to smell. Um, now, y'all, I know y'all out of frame, but hang on. There's one more screw here I got to get. Got to get this. Uh, got to get this little plastic cover off here. So we can get to the get to the burner assembly, orifice, and all that fun stuff.
Tell you what, when they built this camper, they kind of missed a flue hole. They took a hole saw and uh, cleaned that up. And they're just, they're just pieces of plastic everywhere. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Probably not. A lot of duct tape too, for whatever reason. That seems strange. Just dump a lot of stuff out right here, please. Yeah. That's not all the sawdust and wood chips. That's just a piece of aluminum, a staple, all kinds of crap. We're gonna have to stand this up on its end. Wow, that's amazing. That's like twice in a row now. I've caught that, I've caught that battery just as it was dying. So I didn't miss any video. Now I gotta stand this on its end now to get down in there and get the screws out, uh, get this propane line unhooked so I can get that gas valve out of there. And that's where the orifice and the burner assembly and all that lives. So. It's way down in there. There's no way in the world I can get you a shot. Looks like three screws and a gas line here. That's all it takes to uh, to get that gas valve out of there. So let me uh, oh we gotta unhook some of these wires too. But yeah, let me uh, let me work on that. All right, we got the three screws out. We got we got the uh, power wire for the valve unhooked. It's got a connector right here got that unhooked um, oh that might be it we got the gas line unhooked now that is one place where you definitely want to use a backup wrench and it's really hard to do because you don't really have anything to grab onto but you do not want to tweak tweak that that bracket that, that that valve and everything is mounted to yeah we might there's some wires that might be tangled up down in here. We might have to take take a few more wires loose. Not sure yet. Oh, it's just a spade terminal. My bad. Okay, there we go. Alright. Pretty rusty. Quite a few of the holes are, uh, I have rust covering the holes. Let's get, let's get this burner tube off here so we can get to that orifice. Like I say, it might be clean now after we've jiggled this uh, furnace so much. I also want to give a shout out to all of my customers. So I always ask, you know, if it's a job that I want to video, when I get on job on the job site, I always ask the customer if they'd be okay if I videoed it. And I don't think anybody has ever said no. And I think that's pretty awesome. Because if my customers didn't give me permission to, uh, to video this stuff, then I wouldn't have any videos for you guys to watch. So... Uh, Y'all need to give a shout out to my customers also. Let's see what might come out of here. Mm, nothing really. We're gonna run a we're gonna run a wire up there and make sure that um, that hole up in there is clear. We're gonna take a wire brush and we're gonna knock all the rust off of that. Let's look at the orifice. Huh? The orifice looks like it's clean. Let me get it out of there. See if I can do it just a uh, driver handle a lot of times them things are super tight no oh, gotta go get a ratchet there we are it wasn't that tight it's just too tight for the for the driver handle Let's see if i can get out of there now oof oof holy crap
Man, hope they didn't cross thread that orifice when they installed it. And it don't feel good. She tight. A lot of dust on it. The orifice is clean now. I can see. I can see light through it. Let's see if we get anything out of the pipe. Oh, well, I don't know where that came from for sure. Got a lot of junk. So everything's as clean as we can get it there now. Put the orifice back in. It does not have to be incredibly tight. Um, I'm just going to run a screwdriver up in here. And then wire brush, wire brush the burner tube. That's much better. Much better. I'm gonna get some brake clean. Spray this off with some brake cleaner. Y'all watch guys. You didn't get in your eyes, did you? It hurts. How do I know? <laughs> Don't ask. All right, well, let's just put it back together. We're gonna have to test fire on the truck and see what it looks like, smells like now. Hopefully it'll be better. Couldn't be worse. I tell you what, this one was nasty. I even had to, I even had customer smell that one. She said, ooh, yeah. But I guarantee you, if she ever smells that smell again, she's gonna know that whatever propane appliance is running, it ain't running right. Y'all feel like you're in an earthquake? Sorry. I don't guess I've ever set the camera on this table. It really wiggles. Well, I just have to Put that gas valve back down in that hole and get the three screws in it and get the wires hooked up and we'll test fire it. All right, so we got our put back together. This is one of those that the flue pipes way back in there. You have to put this flue in. This is what happens. Right here is where it sucks in the uh, air for the combustion chamber. And that's so far back in there. If you don't put this flue in, it'll just suck the already burnt stuff right back into the combustion chamber and it there's not enough oxygen in it to burn again. So you gotta put that in. Got our gas line hooked up. We got our, sorry, earthquake. Ah, um, got our electric hooked up. Let's test fire, see if it smells better. Can't smell no worse, I know that. much better so just proves to y'all I, I know some of y'all probably laugh at you and when you see me sniffing an exhaust but that's why I do it I can tell a lot about a propane appliance just by sniffing the exhaust you want a little sniff I won't put you I won't put you too close because it just fogged the lens up
How'd that smell to you? I wish you could have smelled it before. Because she was stinky. Don't y'all be stinky. Get down in that comment section. Leave me a comment of care. Leave me a comment of criticism, a concern. I'm going to go find me some lunch. And uh, y'all have a great day. I talk about food a lot, don't I? Well, I'll tell you what. It ain't easy to maintain this body. It takes a lot of work. Y'all be good. Catch you later.